Hello, folks, and welcome to the Co-working Values podcast. This is one of the ones we're co-creating with our friends at Ancards, where we're called Co-working Visionaries, where we go around the world and we interview people that you may not see in the press all the time, but they're doing amazing things in their little corner of the world. And today we have Ilya. So, Ilya, where are you, what are you known for, sir? And what would you like to be known for? First of all, thank you for inviting me. I'm Israeli, I live in Ukraine. I was born in Ukraine a long time ago. I was, uh, I'm, I'm a founder and CEO of Creative States. Creative States has a chain of working spaces. Uh, currently, we have six locations, all of them in Ukraine. We're very unique very unique usual and regular co-working space because what we do is uh, on a very high level we believe that co-working co-working itself as a, a space for work is doesn't exist anymore we're making like a social impact homes which is completely different so people coming into our locations uh, not just for work but also what to for, for not to work and to, to, to have like to be alone and to be inside of the great community to feel comfortable uh, to meet with others uh, but also from the other perspective to be to, to create something we have uh, five locations in Kiev and one location in Dnipro which is uh, something like 600 kilometers to the east of Ukraine and we have a war in Ukraine today and we have uh, something like uh, 80% of occupancy on all our locations. So this is uh, briefly about myself uh, and about our project. So one of the things I'm dying to ask you is your, is your, your company's mission is to create normality. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Can you say a bit about that? Cause that like you're in a very, very unique position. And I do think as we're doing this podcast, there's people in other parts of the world going, Oh dear, I just can't do this. And I just think there's something amazing to achieve what you folks have done in the middle of a war zone. And, you know, may, maybe people like me should stop complaining about, you know, the tube being late in London, you know, <laughs> so oh, yeah. you say about the, say about the normality, bit. that's really important. Um, it started actually uh, from the idea of uh, Lera, our uh, our uh, uh, PR manager. So, because uh, at the very beginning, we started to think about to back people into the normality uh, during the COVID pandemic. I mean, because you know, like it's in Ukraine, we have everything like you guys do, but the worst scenario. I mean, because uh, first of all, we had a COVID pandemic, and then uh, we had the war. Uh, so I don't know what is going to be there. I mean, so and we still uh, we still number one. We still a leader of the market, not just by square meters, but first of all by mindset, by our, by our standards, by idea, and so on. So to get people back to the normality is to give them a simple and basic things that they was looking for during the blackouts a year ago, uh, because it was uh, many moments exactly one year ago. That it was uh, we was uh, we were out of electricity. The key was, uh, you know, with, with, with no internet, with uh, with no hot water, and so on. It was uh, during the blackouts. It was a short period, but people have to feel that you know that uh, something that the keeping them to the you know to the normality, to keeping them to the you know the situation that was before the war, before the global pandemic. You know, so 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 we decided not just to apply kind of generators and kind of, I don't know, like uh, internet, startings, whatsoever. But first of all, you know, like we had a blackout, but we're giving, uh, we spread the Prosecco uh, within our residence. We're giving them much more. I mean, we're giving them the feeling that, you know, that inside of our locations, there is no war, there is no pandemic, there is no, yeah, you know, like a uh, uh, threat of uh, Russians and so on. So definitely... Uh, we have a strict rules in case that we have a alarm that everybody going to the shelter. But once again, the vibe and the atmosphere uh, in creative states within our locations, this is what is the main feature of creative states. We are very, very unique in this case, not by our level of our infrastructure and design, but very unique in this case. So all our offices, they're like homes, you know, like... You have a uh, desk, definitely, but you have sofas, you have, uh, you know, like uh, paintings, uh, the walls, you have a lot of uh, many small features that giving you a feeling that you actually 
you in your house or, or even better, you know, so because the, the concept to work from home is, you know, I was like against it from the very beginning because I don't believe in the concept of work from home because it doesn't affect it. To me, it's not good. I mean, it's, 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 it's not effective at all. So. Uh, so we gave, we, we giving to the people uh, the second house, the, the, the second home, but with social impact uh, things, you know. So this is it. So this is about creative state. The, the, um, just before we start recording, and it really struck me is the way you said um, there's this creative state and this, this fantasy land. And, you know, I, I don't like working from home. I, you know, we've got a nice, I'm at home today and we've got a nice office and everything, but. It's not good for my mental health working from home and going and seeing people in a co-working space is one of the best things I've ever done. And I really, there's something, can, can you say a bit more about that? Like that fantasy place you're creating, which is, I've never heard someone say it quite like that and it works really well. Okay. Yeah, I've got your point. So, uh, creative states, the name, uh, is actually, is the states, you know, you can, uh, accept the name, uh, from different angles. But when I was creating creative states, uh, when I was thinking about the name, it was, it came because it was inspired by traveling in the U.S. and discovering every state with different culture and vibes, you know, so. So, uh, so, so the, the idea was like, you know, like to create the similar and at the same time unique spaces in Ukraine, make it closer to the culture of freedom and creativity. So, uh, what I was learned that, you know, that, um, U.S. is actually, once again, uh, sorry to maybe to say some bad things about, uh, what's going on now, but, uh, it's not like 100% country of, uh, freedom, you know, like as all, all of us, I mean, for today, I mean, during, because of the situations with wars, not just in Ukraine and Israel, for instance, and so on. But this is kind of, uh, but we wanted to create some kind of, uh, dreamland, some fantasy land, as you say, uh, because it's like absolute idea that of the land with all, all of us want to be, you know, want to live, you know. So, so, so this is the main idea behind creative states. So it's it's once again it's 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 not like a traditional working space. This kind of I don't know, like someone call us like a Disneyland, you know, for adults, you know. So or, or, or Hilton for for their businesses, you know. So, so um, but a creative sets resident comes uh, to his office and, and really creates uh, rather than doing some routine work. Only in such conditions we can create something huge and global, especially today, especially today. So uh, answering to your question, Bernie, this is very special. This is not in real. I mean, well, we have like this uh, uh, concrete walls and we have uh, our beautiful designs. We're thinking that, you know, like uh, we're creating kind of uh, states, U.S. states, because every location is like New York, Los Angeles, Boston, and so on. But in reality, this is kind of fantasy land, you know, because it doesn't exist for, the, for today. I mean, it doesn't exist out of creative states, but this exists inside. Yeah. The, my, my next question is about the, um, everyone's always talking about childcare and family and, you know, have this whole home idea going on. And is it is it in Creative States 3, you, you, have, you have this... Do you, have, do you have childcare there, or is it people are encouraged to bring their children? Yeah. Uh, first of all, it was uh, always, uh, you know, like, um, at, at, I was feeling bad when I was uh, hearing, like, you know, like, uh, uh, that, okay, we have, like, a kids zone. So, I mean, what kind of kids zone? I mean, our all our location, they are kid-friendly, you know. So, you know, like, you can bring the kids. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. You you can bring you you can bring in and we will find the way how we will be uh, busy, but not by watching Cartoon Network, but something like you know like something uh, smart. So uh, we decided to implement in 100% uh, this concept in our third uh, location in Arsenal, uh, in Arsenal, uh, in Kiev, uh, which is fixed location uh, by role. So there's going to be like a teachers uh, and nannies that working with your kids. Will you working? Will you coming uh, into the into your office? Uh, 
uh, for doing anything. But at the same time, someone will take care of the kids. But once again, it's not going to be like uh, basic things like, okay, let's go to eat, let's go to walk, let's go to draw. But it's going to be like better. I mean, because we're going to teach the kids uh, with, uh, you know, like very important things, uh, not just to make them fun, but to, to do like something useful, you know, for them and for their lives. So, so, so this is the, the concept. Especially when we're talking about the war in Ukraine, uh, uh, you know, like we have to to live in this reality for today. So that's why in our location we have a bomb shelter is located right inside of the building, which is minus one with concrete blocks protecting all the facade windows along the outer pre perimeter of the lower floor with like two meters, uh, you know, like uh, uh, walls. So uh, everybody will be the same, uh, the safe, uh, you know, everybody will feel and we'll be inside of the safety, you know, which is very important today. So this is what about like about creative state, uh, creative uh, state of Arsenal tree. So this is our like new location. Uh, so and we also we do, yeah. To, to, to people, you know, like if, if I was living in your city, I'd, I'd like to bring my child to work so I know where he is just in case anything happens. Is that, is that, is that what happens with people who are members of creative states? Yeah, I mean, because they the same people like they live in the US. I mean, uh, they they looking for some normality. They looking for some uh, you know like uh, uh, life that was before the war. Uh, kids already uh, you know like uh, small kids. I have a daughter nine years old. So uh, half of your life uh, she doesn't remember already because of the COVID and then war. So she doesn't remember like, you know, like a, a, a real a normal life that we can, we remember, you know, with you. So, so we have to uh, show uh, to the kids uh, that, you know, like uh, this is the, like a normal life. This is like a regular. It's uh, what is going on now. It's not regular. What is going on now is it's not normal, you know? So that's why it's very important to us to bring them to the normality. First of all, adults, and also, which is very important, the kids. So, by the way, we decided to build this location uh, in Harry Potter uh, series style. So it's going to be like Hogwarts, modern Hogwarts, uh, created by Creative States. We'll see, you know, certainly uh, like both adults and kids, definitely. So that's going to be like, that's top of mind what we will create it, what Creative States are able to create. So this is like our new uh, masterpiece really inviting you in case that you will decide to, you know, uh, th there is a lot of Americans here. There is a lot of uh, Europeans here in Ukraine. Uh, many of them, uh, like experts, they working from our spaces. We have, I don't know, like starting from banks, uh, uh, tech companies, many of tech companies, uh, advertising agencies. Uh, we have a lot of deep missions uh, like UN, uh, UNICEF, many of them. Uh, journalists like Wall Street Journal, New York Times, they're all, all, all working with, uh, with Creative States, you know. So, by the way, the, the first um, wow. member of uh, creative, creative State of Arsenal 3 was Wall Street Journal. So, <laughs> so you know, so, so they know to find the right places, you know. So. It, feels, it feels like, uh, like the Avengers Mansion. Um, what is, so one of the things, you know, there's, there's like a, a global... I mean, in the UK, yet. I mean, let me say this because this is where I'm, where I'm most sure. familiar with. There is a there is a cost of living crisis in the UK at the moment, and people talk a lot about resiliency and making their business work in hard times. And what could you, you know, from your extreme position in a, running a business in a war zone, you know, what what would you say to people who are trying to grow resiliency and keep their business going or keep their co-working space going in a, in a really extraordinary time? Um, if you allow me to say uh, my personal thoughts about what's going on, I believe, um, look, I've been living to Israel for 20 years. Uh, when I was a kid, I was born in uh, Western Ukraine. When I was a kid, I left Israel. I've been living there for 20 years. I've been in the army, I was uh, studying in Hebrew University, uh, was working and so on. And then someday I decided to go back. Um, I think, uh, but once again, don't take my words wrong. I think that, the, you know, like 
uh, the, the, the most freedom now in, in the countries, which is uh, usually called like a third world, you know, like uh, not like pretty established and 100% like Great Britain, for example, or US and so on. So you can get like a real uh, freedom uh, in Ukraine. And I believe that it's much more, I mean, because uh, the government not able to, you know, like regulate all your life, like, you know, starting from the bank, the bank not going to decide what kind of TV you can afford, you know, like, it, and it doesn't matter how much money you get uh, from, from, your, from your job and so on. So you feel much more freedom in such countries like Ukraine. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm doing mountain, mountaineering. Uh, I've been to Everest uh, uh, this April and I. So I was the same feeling in Nepal, you know. So uh, if, you, if you can build your life um, in, 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 in third generation of country, you know, you will feel much more free than uh, in, you know, like in uh, such countries, which is, you know, like uh, ruling your life, doing everything that you, you will be like, you know, you, you, you can't afford, you, you, you have to be with strict rules and so on and so on. So um, even take the, this into account that we have a lot of things uh, such as corruption, such as, uh, you know, uh, uh, a lot of people, uh, below the zero, you know, by the level of their lives now. But once again, if you're able to make, like, uh, create some project, if you're ready to, you know, to, to, to take a risk, uh, if you understand the local uh, mentality, the business mentality as well, uh, if you know the language and so on, so you will be much, you will feel much more free than uh, comparing with, you know, someone who lives in uh, London, for instance, you know. But once again, this is my opinion in this case. Uh, so this is this is my life, you know. This is what I do. Uh, I'm not afraid I mean, because I've been uh, in the country which is uh, like already 70 years during the war. So that's why I understand what is going on now in Ukraine. Uh, it was not a surprise to me. I mean, it was uh, not so something that was like in shock and so on. So I don't have any trauma about this. Uh, and I believe that uh, those guys who are making today a business in Ukraine, in Kiev and other cities, uh, they will be a winner. So, I mean, you know, Forbes, for instance, they always doing different ratings, like best entrepreneurs of uh, under 35, or, I don't know, like best entrepreneurs of the year. So I think this is bullshit when we're talking about Ukraine, because all of us now are uh, best. All of us are winners because we still doing the business. Uh, sometimes we need to survive. I mean, I mean, we need to make our business to survive because it's not, we are not talking about like a big uh, margin and so on. We are talking about like, we okay if we, we will be able to get into the zero, you know, at the, at the end of the day. But once again, not to leave the country, uh, but still doing some uh, project which is giving like a paying salary to the to the people uh, making them feel comfortable uh, uh, giving uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know great premises to the residents uh, helping them you know like uh, to create their projects even during this uh, time I think this is like uh, it's, it's 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 you know it's 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 giving me a lot of energy, you know, so... so. I, can, I, can, I can tell that from, like, this podcast and speaking to you beforehand. Is, yeah. So I thought, when, when I first looked at Creative States, I thought that looks, you know, like a, a spaceship has landed in Kiev. It was, you know, it's this a very, you know, folks, if you're listening to this, we'll, there'll be a link in the show notes to the website. It's a really impressive co-working space. Thank um, you. Thank building you. all round. Um, and, you know... And I was a little bit confused at first, and then I thought this must give this must give people aspiration and hope when they turn up to that building in the middle of this shitstorm. Is that is that what you're aiming for? Yeah, um, I, I would say that you know that this is um, uh, you say this like a ship. Um, um, I think this is kind of. Uh, let me just find the word. Uh, it's arc, you know. It's arc. It's kind of arc. So we're taking like you know like. Uh, Everybody by the pair, and we're taking them on board. 
uh, and that's it. So I sure I'm, I'm absolutely sure that with our members we will be uh, like very strong. We will be very stable. Uh, and and this is our mission. We're getting people to the normality, so to be actually we're helping them to feel uh, as they was feeling before the war, before the pandemic, and so on. So I I, I think that demand is is very high now, even in the societies, even in the in the governments and countries, which is uh, not under the war, which is uh, you know like. Um, uh, live their lives by once again i believe that we all uh was uh losing we were actually we're losing our freedom because you know because of the economical because of the government uh uh all this shit about democracy and so on so but once again this is my uh opinion my private opinion uh so that's why i believe that you know the the future uh uh in Ukraine, I mean, it's it's because we able to create such projects like Creative States here, you know, and we even more brave because we're going out, we're going, uh, we're trying to make our expansion uh, into Europe and into the world. So maybe someday we will open our location in uh, in UK. Yeah, you know, like we... you are always building our plans, but got laughing from our plans as always, you know. So. <laughs> That's great. Is there anything else you'd like? Is there something? Sorry, confused there. Where can we find you online, Ilya? What's the best place to connect with you? Uh, uh, the, the, any Facebook, uh, uh, Telegram. <laughs> so, uh, any, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm answering to the, to the, you know, to the, uh, to the, to the messages. Uh, I'm not ignoring them. So, in case there's someone who link it in as well. So. Uh, up, up that any i mean just uh, you have to like you know like to to write my surname which is uh, a bit uh, difficult you know so but once you're done so you actually you you you, you will contact you, you will be able to contact me very fast with no problem and i will answer it cool we'll, we'll put we'll put links to all of those bits in the show notes and to the website i really appreciate the uh, time and attention today and I really do I, I, I love it when I do podcasts with people who have who actually have an opinion rather than a um, you know PR stunt but so thanks very much for that um, thank you please, you, you're very welcome um, thanks to Helga and Igor at Ancards for co-creating us and hooking us up with this story and if you go to coworkingassembly.eu that's where all the stuff we're doing around the uh, European Co-working Assembly, which is the remote, uh, sorry, the yeah, the, the remote, um, sorry, the r- rural. Too many R's there, folks. Rural co-working project. There's the co-working library. There's this podcast. There's European Freelancers Week, and there's also a page there which has been going for about a year, two, nearly two years now about um, supporting our friends in Ukraine and how we can help everything around that. So be careful out there, folks. It is a jungle. <laughs>